Hi, my name is Mike. I'm the mechanic at Lakeshore RV, and today I'm going to show you how to winterize a trailer. There's a few trailers that are different, so I'm going to give you a vague uh, illustration of how to winterize your trailer. This particular unit, it's a big horn. It makes it really easy to winterize. You can bypass your hot water heater by simply switching the valve to bypass. Now, basically what you're doing when you bypass the hot water heater is you're allowing the winterization fluid to circulate through the plumbing lines without actually putting 12 gallons into the hot water heater. And it's going to save you some money. It's going to save you a little bit of time. So you bypass the hot water heater. We've, now we've eliminated that hot water heater. This is a uh, antifreeze inlet. You take this, you stick it in a gallon jug of winterization fluid. Most trailers take a gallon and a half each time you winterize it. Stick this in your uh, gallon jug of winterization fluid. Activate this line by turning the valve on. You turn your pump switch on inside and you start to run winterization fluid through the lines. You flush your toilet until you start to see pink stuff come through. You run your shower, hot and cold water on the kitchen sink. And uh, if you have an outside shower like this one, you come out here and you make sure that you don't miss that. And then you also want to pour some down the traps. Maybe the remainder, remainder you want to um, actually drain it down your trap lines. So dump a little bit down the kitchen sink, bathroom sink, and shower drains. To drain your hot water heater, all you do is take this anoid rod out. It also doubles as your drain plug. Remove that, and the water will simply drain out. When it's done, you just lay your rod there. You also want to remember to drain your uh, waste tanks and your fresh water tank. This particular trailer, the drain is in the rear. And there's a line that hangs down. You simply turn the valve on, the water will drain out. In case your trailer is not set up with the valve system, this is an alternative uh, siphon system you can use. It's relatively easy to install. You can install it in less than five minutes. And what you do is you hook this T-valve up on the suction side of the pump. I'll show you how. You want to make sure you shut your pump off before you attempt this. This is the suction side of the pump. And this will allow us to pull winterization fluid through the lines without actually having to stick 10 gallons into the tank. So this will save you some money. There's an arrow on here. This points away from the pump. Now you have your own winterizing kit. Stick this in a gallon jug of winterization fluid, bypass the hot water heater, drain your tanks, you start flushing the lines, you replace the water with winterization fluid. To bypass the hot water heater, you need to locate the hot water heater. At this case, it's below the kitchen window, so I'm going to go inside the trailer now. There's two, different, there's two basic designs on the hot water heater bypass. This particular one is a three valve system. The first valve is opened up and it lets the cold water in, hot water comes out. Now when you bypass it, you want to close these valves, there's no water coming in or out of the tank, then you can drain it. You open this valve up so it's even with the flow line. And basically what this allow, allows us to do is circulate winterization fluid without actually entering the tank. So we've eliminated a 12 gallon tank that we'd have to fill up with winterization fluid. If you have any questions, you can call Lakeshore RV. Ask for service department and we'd be glad to help you out along the way if you need any help.